actor Kevin Spacey has remained silent as more than a dozen men have accused him of sexual assault. In fact, he faces a felony charge of indecent assault in Massachusetts early next month. But in a stunning move, the man who played President Frank Underwood in House of Cards before Netflix banished him from the show released this Underwood-style video completely in character. Of course, some believed everything and have just been waiting with bated breath to hear me confess it all. They're just dying to have me declare that everything said is true and that I got what I deserved. But you wouldn't believe the worst without evidence, would you? You wouldn't rush to judgments without facts, would you? Did you? Joining us now from New York, Kat Timph, a National Review writer and Fox News contributor. And Kat, how can Kevin Spacey say nothing for a year after an initial statement about just one of these many cases, then come out playing Frank Underwood and doing the whole, you missed me, didn't you? Was that well, weird? Right. I watched this several times trying to figure out what he was going for, and I got to say, I still don't really know. I mean, Neither it looked like I. some... It looked like some sort of weird audition tape for a struggling actor, which I guess he has become a struggling actor. I don't know what he expected. I don't know if he expected people to say, oh, wow, I remember him as Frank Underwood. He was so great. We should welcome him back. No, you've been accused by so many people of sexual assault at this time. You can't just come back. So it looks like he just put on that Santa apron for nothing. <laughs> well, in one sense, it worked in, this, in the sense that it's got four and a half million views on YouTube uh, in a few days. Uh, all over social media so maybe he thought he was reminding people they liked him as an actor and using that skill in a sort of a coded way to ask that they withhold judgment I suppose that must have been what he was going for and I he clearly missed the mark because people went from thinking he's a molester to thinking oh he's a molester who's lost his marbles <laughs> they just don't think he's a predator now they also think that he's crazy because this was an absolutely insane video and it kind of shows how much things have changed because in the past if you were a powerful man you used to be able to get away with with predatory behavior and accusations of predatory behavior and now that the me too movements happened, things have changed and he's trying to play by the old rules that don't exist anymore yeah I think you've kind of nailed it with that soundbite now among the, the uh, waves of critical reaction actress Ellen Barkin uh, said this on Twitter, she said Kevin Spacey is sending a very disturbing message uh, to his audience saying, if you hypocrites love me as a murderer, which he played on TV, why won't you love me as a sex offender? But then she notes, well, one was a fictional drama on Netflix and right. the other one is IRL in real life. Right, exactly. I don't really have a problem with fictional murderers because, you know, no one's dying. Wow. I do have a problem with real-life molesters because people are getting hurt. There's nothing hypocritical about it, and this was just really desperate and pathetic. He tried to avoid his January 7th arraignment in Nantucket, yeah. saying that he didn't have to go. The prosecutors rejected that. He's clearly used to playing by these old rules of powerful men, and he's now having to play by a whole new set of rules. And a little video YouTube clip where you do the accent of Frank Underwood is not going to be enough to get your old life back. Not going to be enough. Well, you know, police in that Massachusetts case say that there's video evidence of him putting right. his hand down the pants of an 18-year-old man. Uh, and his parents say Spacey got the guy drunk. Spacey's lawyers say that it was consensual. But so finally, is, is, is Kevin Spacey trying to bypass through this video the usual process of apology and possible redemption? Yeah, absolutely. He's saying he didn't do it. He's saying he didn't do it. There's no way he did it. But when you have this many people who have accused you of the same thing, sorry, bro, you did it. We all know that you did it. And this isn't going to work. People aren't going to believe you. This is a new time. You can't use and abuse your power to take advantage of vulnerable people anymore. He's clearly trying to bypass an apology and just right. go on with life as usual. But that doesn't work anymore. And I'm glad that it doesn't. Yeah, well, he's saying it's complicated. But now we've got the final verdict now from Cat Tim. Sorry, bro. All right, Sorry, sis. Bro. Uh, great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. You too. Happy New Year. You too. Still to come, why the New York Times just blew it with a piece on Donald Trump's Vietnam medical exemption and, and much more coming up.